Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee in front of the chickens. There's only one chicken left in the in the pen. The rest of them, oh, they're all coming back. <laughs> Anyhow, it's a beautiful sunny day today. As you can see, it's like blaring in my eyes. A little bit chilly, but it's going to warm up. And you see that, you see that so-called Hugo Culture garden bed? I did it wrong, so I'm going to have to take everything out of the inside and rebuild it, but it's not going to be too much work. I'll show you what i got to do to make it more kind of like how it's supposed to be, basically. <laughs> well, look who came to come sit up by me. Just flew right on up here. Come on, girl. You can get my lap. Don't pick on my, gl my glasses. Uh, she says, no, I'm, I'm going to go hang out with the rest. Hi, Romeo. You pretty chicken. What you guys doing? Oh, he's telling her there's something down there that's good to eat. What could it be? Now he has to go scold the leghorns. Because they were being testy this morning. <laughs> they, they wouldn't let him mate with them. <laughs> Romeo is quite the Romeo. See that? That's all got to be taken down, everything in the middle taken out and redone because you know why? It's just not deep enough. Look at all that clay, you guys. Looks like a lot, doesn't it? Well, it has barely made a dent. It has literally just barely made a dent. So I'm going to be here all day. One of the problems I'm having is once this clay dries, it's solid as a rock, and I've got little rocks and stones down in there, so digging down deep doesn't really work. It's almost like you got to skim it off the top and just keep removing the layers. <sighs> Another wagon full, and I have literally barely made a dent. I mean, you can kind of see, you know, how deep it is. I want it to get a couple inches deeper, but... I mean, I've got a little bit done from here to here, you know, a little bit. You can see it better over here. See, so that's how much I've gotten out. And this dirt is almost impossible to get up. <sighs> Would be cool if I had a tiller, <laughs> but I don't. So I'm just doing the best I can with what I have. All right, let's go dump this other load of dirt. You'd think that's a lot, but... It is just basically a drop in the wagon. I've still got so much more to do. i got to take a break. I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish this goal today. Thank goodness I've got this little wagon, though, and thank goodness it's lightweight because dumping, dumping all of this heavy soil is pretty hard. It's got this little handle. You just pull it up, and so thank goodness for that. But, yeah, break time. Whew, not sure if I'm going to be able to get this done. Don't know. Okay, I made some tacos for lunch, and I literally have chickens begging me for my tacos. They were all over here. Romeo was looking up at me with those doe eyes. No, you cannot have my lunch. No. Come on. <laughs> you silly birds. You can't get her, Judy. She just wants to play with that chicken. You don't want to hurt it. I'm still not taking the chance, but these chickens, they don't care. This is just so hilarious. Oh, Miss Judy. Why can't you just be friends? I think her idea of play would be a little bit rough for these chickens. You're a good girl, Judy. You know you want to play with my chickens. <laughs> that is about as deep as it's going to get. You can kind of get a good idea over in this corner. Basically, it's a few inches. I don't know how many. I was hoping to get a half a foot at least, but... This is going to have to be good enough. At least it's enough to kind of hold the moisture in without it completely just running off the top of the clay. So now it's time to start layering. 
first layer is all those sticks I had there before. And yeah, there's a few leaves in them. That's okay. Now I need to gather some more stuff. The next layer is just a bunch of that wood that is all rotten and it's just falling apart. It's already started decaying. It has some mold on it, some fungus on it. Um, and that will aid, that's how these beds work, is through mold, not bacteria. And now it's time for the next layer. And the final layer for today is leaves. Now it's supposed to rain, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Not sure. Um, before I ha add anything else, I want to get this wet. So hopefully it'll rain tonight. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You might be wondering, why am I going through all this trouble now? It's the winter, it's not even planting season. Well, with this kind of garden bed, um, it's called Hugo culture, <laughs> Hugo culture. And it is just basically a layering of different things that are gonna break down over time. And so I wanna get this going. I mean, some of the wood is already rotten, which is great. That's gonna speed up the process. But once all that organic matter starts breaking down, it's gonna start releasing nutrients. So I wanna get this started now to kind of jumpstart my whole garden for in the spring when I actually do start planting. Now, like I said, hopefully it's gonna rain and get all that nice and wet because that bottom part, those logs and whatnot, some of them are already wet, but the ones on the very bottom are dry and they need to be wet. The leaves need to be wet and then I need to put some green stuff on it, some, you know, kitchen scraps or maybe some old bamboo leaves. They're over there, they're still green. They're not dried out yet. Um, and then just start laying, layering more stuff on top of it. And then finally the soil, whatever soil I'm gonna use, that'll go on the very top. So I would like to get that done, you know, before spring. I would like to get it done within the next couple of weeks. So I'm just gonna see how it goes. If it rains, that's gonna be great. It should start compacting down just a teensy bit. And then I can start putting um, green stuff on it and then the soil and maybe coffee grounds and maybe eggshells and stuff like that so hopefully that's going to be a very flourishing bed and the good thing too is those logs are going to retain a lot of water and so hopefully that'll help me you know reduce my watering requirements also the the logs and the pieces of the logs that are all shredded and whatnot those are going to retain water as well. So I'm really just hoping, praying that this will all work. I'm pretty sure it will, especially since I dug it down just a little bit deeper. I would have liked to get it maybe half a foot at least, um, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, but I do have it below the top level of the clay so that when it rains, it's not just going to wash everything, you know, um, just the water will just go straight through. Now it's going to go into that little, that little shallow thing that I dug and hopefully be retained there. And um, you know, clay does retain moisture, but the thing is, is it's just so dense and you just, you, you can't grow anything in it all by itself. So anyway, I'm blabbering and blabbering and I'm sure you guys are bored. Um, I don't think I got anything else to talk about. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.